Hey everyone, welcome back to Liz from DIY. In today's video, I'm sharing with you my $1 kitchen organization ideas. I love to organize, especially in my kitchen, and you don't have to spend a lot of money. I'm gonna show you things that I'm using currently in my kitchen. I have a few new things, but most of them I've been using for a year or two, and they work great. And I love organization that's working out in other people's spaces. And these items you can find easily at Dollar Tree, so let's get started. My first favorite item is what I call my dish drying rack. Now I believe this was originally intended to be a plate holder or you could also use it to hold pots. But what I love to do is I have one of those drying mats and I just lay that flat and then I put this $1 item on top of there and anytime I need to dry like plates or anything else, I just stick it on there and it's perfect. I love it. It sits out on my counter all the time. I like that it's not very big and it's just, it works perfectly for me. I really like having zones in my kitchen. So one of the zones that I have is a school lunch drawer. That way I know all the things I need to pack my kids lunches are in this one drawer. I'm lucky in that I have some deep drawers in my kitchen. So in my school lunch drawer, at the front, I keep my kids lunch boxes and I also keep their drink containers. I use Yum boxes. They're a little pricey, but I've had these same ones for years and they hold up really well. They're leak proof and that's my main reason for getting them. For the cups, I use these thermos cups. These are leak proof for me as well, so that's why I use them as well. So I keep those towards the front and I'll link below to the ones that I use in the description box. Then in the the back is where my Dollar Tree items come in. I have these blue, I guess they would be for like file folder containers that are in this really gorgeous pattern. And this is what I keep my cookie cutters in and just different embellishments that I like to put on their lunches. Then in the center section, I keep these nice clear containers from Dollar Tree. And this is what I put all of my um, silicone cups in there and just some toothpicks and different things like that. I love the Dollar Tree organization for this drawer. So my next drawer, I call my measuring cup drawer. I'm a believer that you don't need a ton of utensils and different things. I like keeping it simple and only keeping the things that I really use on a regular basis. I've had this system in place for a couple of years now and this is how my drawer looks all the time. It's just really simple. And one of my favorite organizers are these white organizers. They have a little gray base and these are really great quality and they're perfect for separating out your utensils. In this drawer, I keep my measuring cups, my measuring spoons, and just a few odds and ends that we use on a regular basis. My next system is not working out for me, and this is the drawer that my kids get into frequently. It is their plates, their cups, and all of their bowls. And originally what I used was some poster board from Dollar Tree, and I hot glued it together and made dividers. And it held up, I would say, for about six months, and then it started to kind of fall apart. So I'm gonna try something new. I picked up some of these tan organizers at Dollar Tree, and I'm just going to place four of them to the bottom. Now, one of the keys you want to do whenever you're putting an organizer in a drawer that slides in and out, you want to use some poster mounting tack that you can get at Dollar Tree as well on the bottom. This is just going to keep these containers in place and this works so well. If you have things in your drawers sliding and moving all the time, put some of this on there and you will love it. I'm gonna fill up these four containers with my kids' cups and their bowls and their plates. And cross my fingers, this system works out a little bit better for us. In the drawer below this, I have a similar system that I use for the cups. And I use those same magazine cup holders. These are purple ones. Honestly, for a lot of my organization, I kind of use what I have on hand and I figure it's in a drawer, you can't see it. So I don't worry if I have all the same color. I just kind of use what works for me. And so in this drawer, I put in these purple magazine holders and we have all of our stainless steel cups in here. It, this this is, works perfect. I didn't put any poster mount on the bottom just because everything fits in so snug that I don't need it. But this is another system that's working great for me. 
we don't have a big pantry in our house. So sometimes food will get shoved in the upper cabinets. And right now my husband's coffee stuff is just kind of taking over one of these shelves. So I wanted to get out a few organizers and organize it a little bit better. So I wanted to organize this space just a little bit better so that it didn't look so crazy whenever we opened up the cabinet. So I'm just gonna use some Dollar Tree bins that I had. I'm also gonna use this little white bin that I have from Ikea and just organize it and put it back in place. If you guys haven't tried the stackable plate dividers from Dollar Tree, I'm telling you, you have to go get them right now, especially if you have a smaller kitchen. I love these. So this one is a corner one and I have smaller plates underneath and on the top I have four of these larger bowls and it supports it really well. I've had these for a couple of years now and I haven't had any break and they just work great for me. So like those white long containers with the gray tops, I also have them in black and I use these to organize my knives in a knife drawer. I like to have like things in the same space. So if I know I'm looking for a knife, I'm going to this drawer. And I just have those containers and I divide up my knives. I really pare down my knives. I only have the ones we use on a regular basis and I just organize them in these black containers. I really want to challenge you to just keep the items in your space that you use and you're going to use. You don't need to keep your turkey baster in a drawer where you use it all the time. What I do with those less frequently used items is I put them up above my microwave so that I don't see them and I can pull them down once a year. Dollar Tree also has some really fun snack containers. So the two that I have found at Dollar Tree are these gray ones that are clear on the bottom and also these ones with the purple lid. I think my favorite is probably the purple lid. It probably keeps the snacks fresher because they have that lock tight lid. These containers are probably half the size of ones that you would get at Walmart, but I think they still work great for a dollar. So you can just fill them up with whatever snacks you want. They're great for kids' snacks or just keeping things fresh in your pantry. I love any of the wire racks from Dollar Tree. So I also bought this tiered tray. I know some people might use these for cups or spices, but I wanted to give you a different option. So what I'm going to do with this tiered tray is put it on its side, and then in my cabinet, I'm going to use it to organize my foil and wax paper, just to give me a little bit of extra room underneath. I think this is a fun way to use a tiered tray. Okay, you guys, what organizers am I missing? Please leave me a comment below and let me know what Dollar Tree organizers you use in your kitchen. Let's share, give everyone ideas so that we can have really organized kitchens. hope you found some great ideas in this video and if you liked it make sure to give me a thumbs up it really helps to support my channel if you're new here make sure you're subscribed I post three videos each week and if you missed our last video I'll link it here for you and I'll talk to you guys in our next one bye